next big one, probably the final big one here in Longchamp in terms of the group races. It's the Group 1, Prix de Cadran, two mile, four furlongs, Arthur's Pass, Craig Allen, Broken Promise, Ryan Tamasebi, Cover Mio, John Morgan, Epic Amigo, Alex Ince, Everlast Joshua Sutherland, Going Under, Padraig Hogan, Illustrated, Craig Beckwith, Lieber Eddy, David Robertson, Mr. Yates for Paul Rhodes, Prometheus, Leon Van Rensburg, Repeater, McGonagall, James Shea, Solo Mio, John Morgan, Kuiping East, Vinnie Gerard, Spartak, Philly, Graham Clutterbuck, and Star Party Raw, James Shea, completes your lineup. Star Party Raw, should I say, and they are off and running. So John Morgan's got one there, Solo Mio, or Cover Mio, sorry, is uh, one of them is a newcomer here, the two greys. Uh, from that stable that go out uh, to race from the front here alongside Mr. Yates, the superstar stayer of the season so far. Won some big prizes this season and it's come here well-backed and strong favourite to follow up and add the Cadran to the Ascot Gold Cup victory earlier in the season. But Broken Promises, the one that has the lead, has moved forward on the rail to take that lead and to set that early pace and just picking up the tempo slightly Mr Yates and just settling back in second place there alongside Solo Mio, Cover Mio over towards the rail uh, we've got Everlast just in behind these in the black and red silks Epic Amigos over on the rail going under for return and train of Padraig Hogan in at the deep end here but coming off the back of a win last week in the yellow and black and then we've got Illustrated consistent horse, consistent performer uh, for Craig Beckwith but has repeatedly fallen just short of landing a big prize Arthur's passes over there with plenty of cover over on the rail for Craig Allen repeated McGonagall star party raw there in the green silks towards the rear as well we've got Prometheus racing widest of all for Leon Van Rensburg the dark blue and Lieber Eddy in Kyping East at the moment uh, the back markers and Lieber Eddy another one in the field that's picked up a couple of very big prizes and some good uh, feature races this season so look out for that one staying on later in the day broken promise however has opened a good three to four length advantage now over cover mio and mr yates both traveling strongly just in behind as is solo mio and then a break of around a length a length and a quarter to everlast epic amigo still on the rail um, but a long way to go here uh, 11 and a half furlong still as they pass the odds board in the background there and they start to come past the stands and what will be the winning post in a circuit's time and it's broken promise still in the lead cover mio now in second place solo mio third mr yates just niggled for a few strides there and again just to try and maintain the pace just in behind these a little flat spot being hit there for paul rhodes a superstar uh, mr yates prometheus is inching closer but still racing widest of all and as they start to turn uh, right-handed here and what is quite a tight right-handed bend at Longchamp Prometheus is uh, really going quite wide there and Broken Promise doing the opposite and really hugging the rail and uh, traveling the shortest distance possible so a real smart move by the jockey on Broken Promise Prometheus uh, is racing really wide unnecessarily wide you could think that the horse could be pulled in um, much closer to the rail than it has been uh, Star Party Roar, another one that's racing quite wide and towards the rear of the field now. Spartak Philly has been relegated uh, to be the back marker. Lieber Eddy still travelling strongly in there, but being ridden very patiently towards the rear of the field. Arthur's Pass is one that's uh, crept ever closer and is now in a share of fifth place, just edging in front of Prometheus there and going just up behind Mr Yates and the, t and the pair from John Morgan's stable. Things are really going to start to heat up and unfold from this point on. Five furlongs to go in the Cadran. Broken Promises lead diminishing and now only a length or so over Solo Mio, Mr. Yates, uh, travelling stronger than it was when we passed the stands. Arthur's Pass is now starting to move forward and being ridden along and wants to kick on here, I think Arthur's Pass. Now passes the Morgan pair and also passes Mr. Yates and Broken Promise is now getting harder work at front and is trying to stretch them out and it's holding off the challenges so far into the final three. Broken Promise, Arthur's Pass, Cover Mio, Mr. Yates 
is still there and staying on Prometheus now starting to lay down a challenge on the outside Solo Mio getting going as well Liberetti staying on from the rear of the field Illustri uh, Illustrated trying to get going as well at the furlong and a half marker it's still broken promise that has the lead but the challenge really coming from Cover Mio and Mr Yates now Arthur's passes challenge is starting to fade so it's Cover Mio and Mr Yates have now gone on broken promises challenge is over it's Cover Mio and Mr Yates in the final half of furlong Cover Mio is holding on Mr Yates can't get past and Cover Mio is going to hold off the challenge from the champion stair and win the Kadran an upset here we know that John Morgan's got superstar stairs and he's brought two of them over to France with confidence of turning over the favourite. But no one really expected Mr Yates to get beaten here today. Perhaps John Morgan was the only one. But that confidence, that confidence, it's paid off. Cover Mio wins it from Mr Yates. A gallant uh, went down fighting in second, went down on his sword, Mr Yates, there. But the four year old Cover Mio does it and beats Mr. Yates. Solo Mio third for John Morgan. So really good 1-3 for that stable. Arthur's pass did stay on again into fourth. Broken Promise fifth. Um, but what a performance from Cover Mio. A touch off Mr. Yates in the Kadran.